Good morning, you guys. Today's God's word of the day is GAT. G-A-T. Ha. Huh. GAT. G-A-T. Let's get some. Let's get the pronunciation off of dictionary.com. GAT. 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 Okay. Let's grab a couple scriptures. First one is found in Genesis 1927. And Abraham gat up early in the morning to, to the place where this, he stood before the Lord. Judges 1928. And he said unto her, Up and let us be going. But none answered. Then the man took her upon the ass, and the man rose up and gat him in unto this place. Uh, Lamentations 5 9 says, We gat our bread with the peril of our lives because of the sword of the wilderness. Very simple. What I want you to get from this is. Um, The King James doesn't have to be scary. It's pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. There are some old English words we don't use anymore. When you run into the word "gat" in in some, oh, I don't know, 10, 25, 25 places, I think by my count, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty places by my count. Um, you run into that word get, it means get, G-E-T. That's it. It means get. Um, there are some uh, other meanings, modern day meanings, or, or older slang, I, I should say. It can be used, it's a, it's a verb. Get is a verb, just like get um, is a verb. Um, as a noun, it can be used as a pistol or a revolver, or I don't find that in the scripture, though. Um, it's also a passage or channel extends inland from the shore through shoals and cliffs, etc. So, gat, when you're reading, gat means get. Very simple. God bless you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.